Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm on my own today. Um, basically, I'm just gonna do because I'm gonna start slowly introducing anything to do with mothers and kids because obviously I'm a mother myself. I'm gonna start introducing all things to do with babies and children. I am going to start doing a monthly favourites of all my favourite things for my son that month. So. I'm going to do the mummy side today, and this is how many questions are there? 20 questions just about me and my son, I guess. So, question one How many children do you have, and how old are they? I have one, and he is 14 months, nearly 15 months. Uh, two, what are your proudest and most frustrating moments as a parent? I think I think my proudest oh, proudest he's done so many pretty amazing things in the past year. So it's hard to say pick a certain one, but I was really proud when he started crawling. I was really proud when he started walking. Proud of I'm literally just proud of him every day, just the way he's coming on and the little boy he's turning out to be. Most frustrating Probably colic, I'd say. Colic was an absolute nightmare and it was horrendous. Me and James were actually doing shifts. Like one of us would be up all night and one of us would sleep all day and vice versa. And it was it was hard going. But worth it. How do you discipline your child children? I count to three. <laughs> if I get to three, then I slap his hand. Not hard, obviously. Um, I just give him a tap and he stops immediately. Or I just say, James, tell him off. Um, do you co-sleep? I used to. I co-sleeped until he was about four months old. Um, and then I hit a barrier where I was like, no, you're not sleeping in my bed anymore. You need to learn. So then he went into his own room and into his cot, both at the same time. So And ever since he's been in his own room and his cot. Um, but I, d I have nothing against people that do co-sleep because I have done it. But I just didn't want him in my bed anymore. I didn't want him to be like... I was in my mum's bed till I was like seven. And then I had to be bribed out. And I didn't want that for myself. Because that's that's my space. That's my bed. That's where I'm comfy. Um, what is the one must-have piece of baby equipment? Must-have. A bottle. If we're talking logically, a bottle. If not talking logically then I had a mum room and it was amazing like it basically just rocks your baby for you and it's all electronic no batteries plugs into the wall and yeah it's brilliant would definitely recommend one of those and they also have like white noise sounds on the bottom as well that you can play and they have different motions like car rides um a swinging crib and things like that it's, it's pretty good they are expensive though but I got basically my friend lent me one and the rules, well, the conditions were that we um, we used it, we looked after it, and we gave her it back because she was having another baby. So, yeah, it was a win-win for us. Um, what, oh no, that's question six. Name one thing you bought before you had your baby and you never ended up using. A cot bumper. Uh, I got it, obviously, in a bedding set that I got for Logan. Um, but I never used it because of all of the bad like news and everything about it and the bad social media and stuff. So I didn't ever use it. So it's just sat there. And also a cop mobile, he was never interested in it. And when he was, he was at the age where he would just pull it down and I was like, no. So I've just never used it. Um, have you always wanted kids? How many more do you plan on having? I have always wanted kids. I've always wanted to have them at around about my age as well because I wanted, I know it sounds really selfish, but I wanted to get my life back on track by the time I was like 40. I didn't want to be doing the school run at like 60. So no offence to people that do at all. But yeah, I just wanted to have kids young and so did James. So we did. Um, what was the other question? How many do you want plan on having? 
we have spoken at the minute we're in, in two minds um because the pair of us are really enjoying Logan on his own 100% at the minute because he's so comical and so funny and he's such a lovely little boy um, that we don't really want to share that love yet, if that makes sense. But we do want another one. It has been discussed, and but we only want two. And no offence, all the people out there, but... We do only want to. I think everybody has their own personal preference, and that's just ours. Do you think your relationship with your spouse has changed since you had children that are worse? Yes, it has changed. Of course it's going to change, because they're not your number one priority anymore. Your child is. And that's just the way things go, and if your partner doesn't understand that, then he's an idiot, basically. Um, date night. How many nights or days per month? Me and James are pretty lucky. We get, my mum has my son once a week during the day, so we get a day to ourselves. And James's mum has my son um, once a week, sometimes twice if we have plans, uh, overnight and throughout the day. So we get like a whole day to ourselves so we can do whatever. So yeah, we're pretty lucky in that aspect. So. But it's not always a date night, sometimes it's just sitting in and watching a film or something. Um, how How is your relationship with friends since having a child? Non-existent. <laughs> Basically, all the people I was friends with before, pretty much, not speaking for the small minority, because there is a small minority of people that still bother, but the rest of them didn't, because they didn't understand that you're no longer able to go out and do whatever, whenever. You have to plan these things. And even if you do, sometimes you are going to have your child with you. Uh, I think it's hard to get into that mindset, though, until you're actually in it. Because uh, I underestimated it myself. Uh, I think everybody does. And I think if you say that you knew what was coming before you have kids, I think you're a liar. Point blank. Because you, you're going into it blind. You don't know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, no, my relationship with the friends that have stuck around is exactly the same. But I'm mainly friends with people now that have kids because they understand the situation and you've got the same sort of problems going through the same sort of things and everything like that. It's just a lot easier and you've got that comfort and support from a friend. Um, how many cars does your family have? We have one. That's all we need. Um, dream vacation with your kids and one without the kids. Dream vacation with the kids. Oh, Christ. Um, I'd like to take Logan. I know it's not abroad, but I'd like to take Logan up to Newcastle because that's where my family are. And I haven't actually taken him up yet. Just never got around to it. Um, but yeah, that's where I'd like to take Logan to meet all my family and everything like that. Uh, one without the kids. Uh, Everywhere, pretty much. <laughs> uh, where do you shop for your kids? Everywhere, really. I'm not, I'm not really snobby with it. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I like something that's in a high end store, then I'll buy it if I like it for him. But I'm not snobby about going into charity shops and paying like fifty p for something or having things second hand. There's nothing wrong with things that are second hand. You can wash them at the end of the day, and also you're doing a good bit because you're giving to charity. So, yeah, no, pretty much anywhere. If I like something, I'll get it. Uh, Favourite mummy makeup and skincare products? Oh, God. <laughs> skincare products. I um, I really like the Nip and Fab range. Uh, I also really like, I have Ole uh, Regenerate moisturiser, and that's one of my favourite moisturisers. Uh, Favourite mummy makeup? That's a hard one. Uh, I pretty much like all of my makeup. I don't really have a favourite product. But I'd say the one that I couldn't live without would be mascara. I just can't live without mascara. I look like I'm dying if I don't have it on. Um, since becoming parents, do you notice you act more like your own mother or father? Huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do, yeah. My mum used to count for us as well. But I'm a little bit more 
like I won't have Logan in my bed or anything like that, whereas my mum did. Uh, I think you you notice more the similarities between your parenting and your parents' parenting. Um, yeah. Piss in a baby's ear, do I don't. I think that's, again, a personal preference. If you want to, that's fine. If not, don't, pretty much. Uh, bath or shower? Uh, both. Logan has both. He has a bath every night because by the end of the day he's minging and plus it's part of his bedtime routine and it has been since he was four months old so I'm not changing that until he's a bit older and understands a bit more. Uh, shower, he has a shower at my mum's because my mum doesn't have a bath, she has a shower cubicle so he has a shower at my mum's. She says he doesn't like it which is probably true but it's not a bad thing, he still has to get used to having a shower. Um, is mum back to her pre-baby weight? Definitely not. Definitely not. Got some weight to lose there, mate. Uh, college dreams. Do you expect your kids to go to college or would you let them decide for themselves? I'd let them decide for themselves. Obviously, I'd wish the best for him in every aspect. But you can I don't think you can force kids. I think if you try it, they just rebel against it. I mean, like I'd do the same. If somebody tried to tell me that you have to go back to college now, I'd be like, no. Um, finish these sentences. You know you're a mum when you go out looking like a hot mess. You know you're a dad when... Well, I can't answer that because I'm not a dad. But, yeah, that's the end of the questions, everybody. Uh, yeah, hope you got to know a bit more about me and how I parent. Please, guys, no hate. I can't... Seriously. We've all got our opinions and preferences and we will do what we want in the way at the end of the day despite what people think so yeah anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video please give it a massive thumbs up and go and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and i will be uploading some more hope you guys enjoyed it bye